If the 2021 HBCU football season has shown us anything, it's the Jackson State University has become the epicenter of HBCU culture. I know how we rock it. Yes, sir. Now, that's not to say that your HBCU is not live too, so don't get all up in your feelings in the comments. But as HBCU football makes its way deeper into the mainstream, it's impossible to deny that Jackson State got all the juice right now. <laughs> and that fact is never more evident than on game day at the vet. <laughs> Jackson State and all four meet at the Soul Bowl. It's a vibe that can't be denied. You got families that went to all four in Jackson State yep. in the same household. My son went to all four. He over there. I'm right over yeah. here. J State, baby. The corner of Northeast and Woodrow Wilson look like a parking lot with folks just pulling right up on the median and hopping out the whip. And while the Soul Bowl was the most attended HBCU football game of the year with an official attendance of 58,892. The culture and probably 10,000 more people were outside the vet in the tailgate lot. I say, all going, it's gonna be the, the biggest HBCU game, biggest sweat game of the year. I'm you, it's gonna be about 70,000 people here. And inside the vet before kickoff, we got a glimpse of what a big time HBCU football atmosphere could look like every week. 50,000 right people. Um, that feeling is uh, unexplainable. You have to. Feel it. You have to understand that 58,000 of our people unified. Uh, when they did the wave, it, it just blew my mind because we're unified then. Coach Prime and Jackson State already had the SWAC East crown locked up and have settled quite nicely into their role as the team to beat in the SWAC. Hands up! Hands up! Hands up! Hands up! Go. Alcorn State came into the vet needing a dub just to have a chance to come back to the vet in two weeks for the SWAC championship game. And as usual, the Braves wanted all the smoke. And this game right here was all smoke for all 60 minutes. The JSU defense in full on attack mode early in the game. Then his feet was hard, making plays down the field with his arm. Then with his leg. But the Braves end up settling for a field goal. But here comes Showtime Shador Sanders doing the same. Except he cashes in the bag with a three yard touchdown pass to Keith Corbin and we slugging this thing out seven to three at the break. And while the vet is unquestionably Jackson State's home, that purple corner of the bleachers belonged to Alcorn State for the afternoon especially when the sounds of dynamite hit the field. Now they say imitation is the greatest form of flattery, but Alcorn State mocking the sonic boom signature chant was all shade. But when the sonic boom of the South takes center stage in front of 60,000 fans at the vet, it's a show like none other in the world. And when Boozy Badass himself pulls up to set that joan off,
you know you've reached peak HBCU vibe, solidifying this halftime show as one for the ages. And after a 50-yard touchdown bomb from Felix Harper to Calvante Keith, it was a 10-10 ball game with seven minutes left in the third quarter. And just like he's done all year, when it's time to make game-winning plays, Showtime Shador Sanders shows up and shows out. End of the third, Shador to Shane Hooks, 31 yards, 6 points, 17-10 Jackson State, and the vet goes up. to J-State defense, making grown man plays down the strip. And a two-yard touchdown pass from Shador Sanders to Keith Corbin seals the 24-10 Jackson State win. Touchdown, Tigers of Jackson and while this was literally the biggest HBCU football game of the year, the JSU faithful will have a chance to go even bigger in two weeks when they host Prairie View in the SWAC Championship game. SWAC Championship, Nick, you know what time it is. We just got started. We done swat the whole SWAC at the whole field, man. It's a great feeling, dog. Dude. And, and, and had 60,000 in here, dog. That's the problem. Hey, man. The problem. I want to be on nowhere else, dog. It's a place to come, man. That's the state. Yeah, I love it. That's cool. No, we ain't done, man. We ain't done, hey, man. Got the job done, man. There ain't nowhere to finish, man. And Shador Sanders seems locked into the mission as he reminded us through a mouthful of diamonds that he and the Tigers are out here walking the walk behind all those bold statements they made coming into the season. I've been saying that's right, media day. Y'all just now catching on to it. We've been believed. And with all the emotions surrounding the tragic death of young Dolph still weighing heavy on the minds of everyone at J State. Usually with guys, with celebrities and stuff like that, they're not going to be real with you all the time. He was one of the really personal I know. So, it's just a different relationship, man. I just felt that somebody told me on the sideline, it was a dog. Yeah, I heard that. Yeah. The I Believe mantra at Jackson State has become deeper than just a catchy slogan on the back of their shirts. It's a belief in not just Jackson State football, but a belief in the inherent excellence that exists within us all. And for HBCU football, whether you like it or not, the bar has been raised in Jackson, Mississippi. Now it's time for all our boats to rise with the tide. Day. When the band is what you hear and everybody here is cheering, all your worries disappearing, y'all it's game day. When the televised is streaming live in person while you're screaming, no more waiting, no more dreaming, y'all it's game day. When the band is what you hear.